a marvellous uh, moment for this. He's got it. It's pretty close. C'est magnifique. No mistake that time. Again, a beautiful kick from Grant Fox. Look at the line here for New Zealand. Jones looking for his second. Kirk! David Kirk! Pressure from the New Zealand forwards. They had a breakaway and there it goes. Out to Michael Jones, a devastating runner. Kirk in the background. The New Zealand, the French forwards got in their way. And uh, Kirk has gone straight through. Only Serge Blanco in front. The support can't keep up with him. Now they arrive, Shelford, lovely pass to Kerwin. Another one for New Zealand. Magnificent work by Kirk. He threw the dummy, went straight under the arm of one of the French players. And a magnificent run, but this is where he kept control of the situation. He knew Blanco was in front of him, and he went, made the tackle, but he placed it straight down. Good support play with the New Zealand forwards. I think it was Shelford. Once it got to Kerwin, he palmed up for Vizier, and really, Seller was coming across, but once Kerwin had it, the try was always going to be scored. 6-3. He's got the distance all right. And it's now becoming a procession. Grant Fox. The crowd's happy. Can they get it out? There's the try. Way right through the All Black side. But Bissier nice and close, really snuck around the, the French to score on the with post. So marvellous New Zealand side. Australia getting a to 27 minutes. Can he put points on the board? Looks as if he's done it this time. He has. That will stop the heart fluttering for Michael Liner. A much more difficult kick. This and Oberhen Gowi gathering it in two-handed. The Australians trying to roll it off the side. England in trouble here. It's a try. And is it Oberhen Gowi off him and was driven over? Let's have a look at it now. Great take from Offengawi, unexpected perhaps, and I think it's Tony Daly that goes there, claims the ball, and drives to get around the English defence. It's just a shift in weight, and that's the result, catching the English. And the conversion, straight through the middle by Michael Liner. John Webb. And yes, that one's over. He had a long look at it. Wasn't very sure until the touch judges' flags went up. But England, at last, with points on the board, to show for their pressure. Yes, it's there. John Webb puts England back in the game. And that's it. The final whistle blows. The moment he has been working and waiting for. The youngster who's scored 100 points in the World Cup so far. And through it goes. First blood to New Zealand, five minutes gone. His father, a junior All Black, over the top to Pina. South African captain sets it up. Kruger goes blind. Stransky finding a little wriggle through. And well held by Olo Brown, the prop eventually getting him down. Wide it goes. Back inside to the big man Andrews. And a penalty. He was Coming up to 11 minutes gone, and Joel Stransky, 3 all. Good jump from Ian Jones, beautifully taken by the New Zealander. And Lomelu straight through the middle, breaks one tackle. The pass going. Penalty to New Zealand. High and true, right through the middle. And New Zealand... Go back into the lead, six points to three. Fitzpatrick. He's seen it all before, the only survivor from the 87 World Cup final. Driving off the side, Andrews. Again, the little thrust from, and they're over this point. They can get it down. No, the referee can't see it. 
On target again. Zealand digging in. And a penalty. South Africa have it still. Back it comes to Stramski. The drop goal. It's there. And South Africa into the lead for the first time. 31 minutes gone. A little loop, wide it goes. Osborne through the gap, wide to Lamu. He's run past Yuga. Good tackle, across it came. Big Yapi Mulder. The 15 stones a throw. Little with the little dummy, almost through. Just legs knocked away by Mulder. Back it comes. And the drop goal goes over. Mertens as cool as a cucumber. If one side has scored more than the other, and if that does not bring a result, then it goes to disciplinary record. Offside in front of the kicker, too hard. He's got plenty of distance, but he's hooked it. No, he hasn't. Stayed inside the near park. Ellis is after it, but Chester Williams comes up with the wall. Good cut inside from him. Van der Vestesen sniping down the blind side. They've got room. Forward pass, well spotted. That one was definitely forward. No question of it. His way. And the referee spotted it. Over the top, he said. You went New Zealand. The cheers ring around. That flicked it back, but it was the right decision. And it's over. Stransky, the coolest man on the park. I will certainly have the the water carriers on the field, I've no doubt. But uh, officially, there's no break. As you I must have got permission, of course. Has to be an injury replacement. Back it comes to Stransky. Up goes the kick. Up goes the wall. Stransky has kicked his head. And with two minutes gone in the second period of extra time, South Africa's and keep possession. And that's the way they'll do it, keeping it in the middle of the back and going for the line. Back it comes to use van der Vestesen, a little knock forward, but that's it! South Africa have won the World Cup, having been back in international rugby for... The president to the captain. There it is. Hit the ball very straight. Over it goes. So wing or fullback, and Bregan gets very bad ball. Well scrummaged front. Penalty to the Australians, though. Bang on target. 11 minutes gone. Oh, he's drilled it. Over it goes, a sensational kick. Set up by two, driven on by Kepu. Regan, he wanted quick ball, he couldn't get it. The penalty to Australia. Doesn't miss this time. Eels. Larkham. Kefu being used as the ball carrier. And Australia get the penalty. No problems with the distance. No problems with direction either. Straight through the middle. Getting in there, penalty signalled. And given now, waiting for the advantage. And struck it well. No doubt the door, right through the middle. Through the kick goes. Benazir. Cole is the man who tackles it. And that ball. The Australian sides. Third penalty. Looks good, it is. No way he was going to miss that. This will be a penalty to 
France unless they get advantage. Gabajosa, Nanya, back inside to Benazi, couldn't hold on. And Mr. Watson will bring them up. Over it goes. And out goes the flag of English touch judges. Plenty of distance, no problem at all. Over. Oh, and Gregan looking the wrong way, then going himself. Warren, Finnegan, right in the corner. I think it's Ben Tune who got over. The other side of the field to our normal coverage. Look at that. Right That's through the post, a great man. kick from Matt Burke. And attempt, lovely inside pass. Regan to Finnegan. Go for the line, man. And he gets there. For a moment, I thought he was not going to go for it. And that is it. Andre Watson brings down the curtain on the 1999 Rugby World Cup this season. But there he is now, receiving the trophy from the Queen. All six foot seven of him.